Hi there, I'm Geneva Fox. I'm a lead animal keeper here in African Rift Valley. In African Rift Valley, there are about, about 20 different species and about 75 different individuals. So here at Cheyenne Mountain Zoo, we do a lot of different animal training with our animals. So some of the purposes or the goals of training are tr showing off natural behaviors that our animals demonstrate. And another big goal is for husbandry training and vet care so that our animals can be active participants in their own vet care. Training our animals is one of our very favorite parts of our day. We get to interact with them one-on-one -on -one and spend a little bit more time with them. Ideally, we would love to train every one of our animals every single day, but sometimes we can't do that. We don't have the time, so we prioritize. If we see that we have certain medical uh, needs coming up with our animals, we'll spend more time specifically on them focusing on those behaviors. Hello, my name is Bryce. I am a keeper in our adventure department here at Shine Mountain Zoo. And today I'm going to show you guys how uh, uh, we as keepers uh, prepare our animal diets. Now, here in our department, we take care of over 120 animals. So that's a lot of animals to take care of in one day. And it usually takes about half the day uh, to get all the animals out and fed. All right, so we're just going to start uh, with a salad here. This is a, uh, a bowl for our Egyptian tortoises. Um, and so we have a whole bunch of really fun uh, leafy greens that will offer our um, herbivorous animals. Uh, these diets are really simple to make. We just kind of tear up uh, the pieces into smaller, tiny pieces. Our Egyptian tortoises are just babies, so we got to make sure that they're baby size pieces of uh, leaf. Uh, now I'm going to move on to uh, our beaver diet for Ginger, our beaver. She's a very popular animal that lives here at the zoo, and she gets a weighed out diet, and we have, uh, she gets a certain amount of um, different um, uh, pellet diets, which I have here. This is a good variety of uh, the pellet diets that will give some of our animals. They're just, they're kind of boring, but they're nutritionally complete, so they're uh, really good for um, making sure our animals get all the nutrients that they need. In addition to the chow diet, Ginger also gets a variety of leafy greens. We're gonna make uh, a diet for our uh, black-footed ferret that lives down here in the loft. So we uh, give our black-footed ferret down here the same food that we would give the black-footed ferrets up in our uh, breeding colony up above the zoo. Um, and that's this special meatball diet. It's not meatball like you would get at the grocery store. It's um, made specially for zoo carnivores. So it has muscle, bone, organ, tissue, all in it. And that's uh, everything that a carnivorous animal uh, needs and wants. My name is Alana. I'm the senior lead animal keeper in the elephant rhino barn and I have seven animals under my care. We do on average about three hours of training with all seven of our animals a day and that's broken up throughout the eight hours that we're here. And then we do, and that is incorporated into uh, two keeper talk slash training demos with the elephants, one with the rhino and then three uh, public feedings. So Keeper Talks allows our visitors to get a glimpse inside our animals' daily care, so how we take care of them, why we take care of them, um, and then allows them to just kind of get an up-close view of our interactions with our animals throughout the day. 